Yeah, it was good to respond today, especially you know against Western Michigan, who's feeling really good right now. They're playing good baseball, and and uh, we were really resilient today, especially offensively. You know, it was a great day by Dylan Rosa, a tremendous day, and he also made a great play as well. And you know, just uh, a good performance really from our offense and Zach Spangler coming in out of the pen and, and finishing it off. I thought he looked tremendous. He's been banged up a little bit here this last week, and it was good to see him back out there. Yeah, Sam Hurt, another good day offensively uh, today. Uh, Mason Mamarello, same way. You know, the, both those guys have been getting on base, and, and uh, just been, they've been fun to watch. And uh, they've been a really good asset to this program here uh, so far to this program. And it's been, it's been, it's balanced our lineup out tremendously. And they've both played really good defense um, for the most part all year long, too, as well. Teammate number nine batter. That ball laced down the left field line. Fair into the corner. It rattles off the sidewall. Second straight leadoff double. And Hurt continues to swing a hot bat in the bottom of this Kent State lineup. Ravel is ready. A look back. Another look. Now the 1 2 offering coming home to Miller. Strike three called Miller. Must have been looking breaking ball because that fastball was right down Main Street. Here is the 0 2. Got him that time for sure. Schuler squeezes it. Ravel fans the side. And after three and a half, Kent State leads four to three. Infield in, the one-two is line to center. Racing back Farmer, it's over his head. That'll allow Beckner to walk in. It's all the way to the triangle and flying into third is Rosa. Still coming, he'll be waved around. The ball is dropped. He's coming at the plate and scores. That will likely be a triple and an error, but it counts just the same, and Kent State has a six to three fourth inning lead. The right-hander rocks, he fires. That's five in a row. Blown away. Two outs here in the fifth. Rosa tripled and scored on an error his last time up, and lines this ball to left field near the line. It's a fair ball base hit. On his way to second, big turn, he's gonna try it. The throw, the tag, safe with a double. The one, two, bounced up the middle. Beckner steps, throws, call it two. The pitch, that's a shot up the middle, tie game. Mamarella delivers the single to center field. Simonetti scores and it's 7-7. The one, oh. That one is swung on and smoked to right. The wind carries it back. Deep enough, it should be anyway. Pastora grabs it. His throw into the wind, not in time. As Hurt scores, and the Golden Flashes go up by one in the seventh inning. Now the pitch. And now he drives it to left. Oh, forget about it. Long, long gone. And it's been a heck of a five minute stretch for Dylan Rosa. You can't hit a ball any harder or farther than Dylan Rosa just did. Uh, yeah, I thought it was much better today. You know, we still left a few on, but uh, we were much better, much more resilient. We were The biggest difference I saw today as to opposed to yesterday is our two strike uh, hitting was much better. Um, I thought we did a really good job winning pitches with two strikes and extending at bats and making the pitcher work. And it was much better today. Flexion of your pen. Into center field for Mamarella. This series is tied up. Kent State survives this heavyweight slugfest and wins it 9-7. to seven.